Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Beauty by Nisi here. If this is your very first time, welcome to the family. We want to see you every week, so please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me. If this is not your very first time, thank you so much for all the support that you show me. Today's video is going to be a rundown of all the items that I have purchased in 2018 which I totally love and I use it on a daily basis. So if you guys want to know all the products that I have purchased in 2018 that I absolutely love, I need you to keep watching. Hi guys, so before we start I just wanted to mention that all the items that I am going to show you today, um, I created this look using just those items. Starting with primers, the two primers that I really love are the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. This is probably not going to show, but this is it. It's white. I don't know if it's going to show. This is not probably not going to show either. And the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. These two are my go-to primers, and I am going to talk about the Tatcha first. This actually is very expensive. It is $52 on Sephora website because first of all, it is actually good. It works with all skin types because I really researched it and looked at all the reviews before I purchased it because of the price. When I put it on personally, for me, it blurs out. It gives me a little blur, uh, especially in my um, uh, bigger pore areas it helps uh, minimize my pores and it gives me a very smooth finish and every foundation that I use with it it actually works pretty well with it the next one is the Too Faced Hangover uh, primer and I love this primer as well it is $32 it's also not cheap it's quite expensive I love this primer because it gives me a dewy finish. Sometimes I don't always want to look matte. I actually have a combination skin and sometimes I just want to look glowy and dewy. That is what I have on right now and I like the look that it gives me. I like I like the ingredients that are in it. I believe it's, it has coconut oil, coconut water and it, pr it has hyaluronic acid. If it doesn't, I'll put it on the screen but I'm pretty sure it does. I really love it. It's very lightweight. It's very water-based. So when you put it on, it goes on smoothly with most of the foundations that I use. I usually use it with uh, the foundation that comes with it, like the Too Faced foundation. But I have also used it with other foundation and it has really worked. And for foundation, it was really, really difficult to pick just two because there are a few more that I really, really love. But I came up with these two. Um, this is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and the Cover FX Power Play foundation. With the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I really love it. Um, first of all, I purchased it on Ulta. It retails for $39. It's also not cheap, but I like this foundation because of because it helps with your skin. It's kind of like a skincare in a foundation bottle. It has hyaluronic acid, which helps, which helps with anti-aging. It has anti-aging benefit. It is very lightweight. Like when I put it on, I cannot feel that I'm wearing anything. I like the finish when I don't want to look too um, oily. I don't want to be um, oily at the end of the day. I really love it. I wear it almost all the time when I want to go for a very glowy look. For the cover FX, I know I have not talked about it on my channel. This foundation retails for $44. It is pretty small. It's in a very small bottle. I am in the shade N100. I like it because it has a matte finish. And this kind of matte does not make your face too stiff. You know how some foundations are matte and then you can feel that your face is pretty much like shrinking and drying up? This is not like that. This gives you a matte finish but it gives you like a smooth matte finish you cannot feel it on the skin it's very lightweight i love how it looks it is full coverage just like the two Faced. the two Faced is a little buildable but this is full coverage a little goes along going straight into the concealers i am talking about just my under eye highlight concealers i have two that i really love i have the Too faced born this way multi-use sculpting concealer and the huda beauty overachiever concealer 
concealers when it comes to the huda beauty this is full coverage dries down very um quick and so whenever you use it you need to be quick anytime i'm using this um concealer as soon as i do one eye i am placing it on the other eye and i'm blending both at the same time but i love the finish it gives me it pretty much like makes my under eye bags disappear i don't have it on today it makes my under eye bags like disappear and i love the cooling effect so um i don't know if my camera is gonna show but i do they do have sorry i've been using it so it's a little bit dirty the tip here the applicator is not my favorite because you cannot control the number of products that comes in but it gives whenever it touches your skin it gives you this cooling effect i don't know if it does anything to your pores but it's almost like my pores disappear i really love this foundation i love the undertone it is not the regular yellowish undertone that you usually get for women of color whenever we go in for um high under eye highlighter concealers now going into my Too faced i love this concealer that is what i have right now if you want to have to, if you want to go for a subtle again glowy look you want to go for this foundation uh, this concealer i love the applicator it is quite big so you get enough product out very easy to blend it doesn't give me any flashback i like the finish and the undertone it is perfect for my skin and then for finishing powders i am gonna run really quick through this i do love the nyx no filter uh, finishing powder i am in the shade deep golden nffp 13 and then the sephora micro smooth powder baked face compact powder i am in the shade i think it's mahogany i cannot find the shade name here i am in the shade deep ebony Now, I really love these two finishing powders. It actually kind of works the same, but this is not that expensive, but this is a more affordable option. So if you love the Sephora and your MAC um, finishing powders, you are going to love this. I love how it is lightweight. It brings all your foundation, the, powder, um, the concealer and everything together. And I also love it because it is quite affordable. These two are a must have. And then to set my concealer, my highlighted concealer, I have two powders that I have. I finally have told myself that I am never going to go away from these because I bought a few powders within the year and I always go back to these. These two powders are my Beauty Bakery Flower Better Not Bitter Yellow Translucent Powder and my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. These two, you cannot do any wrong with them. I love both of them because they are smooth and bake with these and not expect any flashback. I love the undertone that it has. The yellow powders, ha this yellow powder has like a yellowish undertone, but when you apply it, it is almost it almost disappears. I really love these two powders. So again, the translucent uh, Laura Mercier loose setting powder and the Beauty Bakery flower powder are my favorite loose setting powders. And then going in the eyes, it was really hard because you guys know that this year there's been so many launches, collabs, call it, whatever you want to call it, for eyeshadows. Now, I really brought it down to three eyeshadow palettes that are my go-to palettes. Um, I have my everyday one and then I have the one that if I want to go glam but I'm on the go and I really need to get it going, I actually use those. Now, I'm going to start with something that is not even an eyeshadow palette. This is the Sephora uh, Easy Smoky Eye. I actually have four of these. These are so easy. Anytime I want to create a green smoky eye, a blue smoky eye, a brown smoky eye a black smoky eye I just grab this I put it all over my lid and then I blend it out with a brush and I'm out of the door for the eyeshadow palettes I actually have three let me grab the other one so I have the Huda Beauty warm obsessions she came up with a few more um, 
not so long ago this I really love it because it has all my translucent everyday colors and it is so easy to use very blendable I love my warm palettes so this is the perfect warm palette for me I really do love it the other one that I use when I want to go glam is my dose of colors Desi and Katie Frankation palette I love this palette because it is it has all my warm transition shades I especially love the shimmers they are so pretty I don't have to spray my brush before applying it they are easy to blend and they are just pretty they are just beautiful I can create so many looks using just this palette for that and then last but not least for the eyes I do have these eye pencils I do use a cold eye pencil on my eyeliner most of the time, but um, I didn't add those to my favorites. But I wanted to mention the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. Love this. Love this. This serves the same purpose as the Sephora one. You can actually use it as a base. They have so many colors. You can use it as a base and put your eyeshadow on and it will give it a very nice pop of color i usually use this in my waterline i have different colors and i use this in my waterline it glides very easily and it doesn't irritate my eyes now the other products that i also got which i really love is the makeup forever eye and um eye and lip pencil pretty much like a face pencil so i really love this pencil um I love the colors that they have. I Again, I usually use it in my waterline. I use some on my brows. I use it to line out my lips. That is what I actually have on today with just the gloss. I love this pencil. I got a few that I usually use it in my waterline and on my lips. Really love this pencil. You guys should try this out. Moving on, hopefully this video is not super long. I uh, Moving on to blushes and highlighters and bronzers. First of all, blushes. The NARS Seduction. This is a very pretty color. I think it will work on all skin tones. This is a very pretty berry color. I really love it. Now, this is quite on the expensive side. So, an alternative for that is the NYX um, Double Dare um, um, blush. It has different shades. This is quite different. This is an orange one, but I love this one too because it gives you the same effect that the NARS gives you. I like it because it is super pigmented. It shows up on the skin and it really pulls your makeup together. So I love these two blushes. For my bronzer, you all know I mention these all the time. It's my Morphe Brontour um, bronzer contour palette i cannot think of the name shoot okay this is how it's looking i am in the shade showman's so it has a bronzer and a contour but the bronzer has shimmer in it it is it is very subtle so the moment you blend both and you put it in here oh my goodness i just love 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 the look it gives you for highlighter, my go-to every day is the Becca Chocolate Geode Highlighter. This is how it's looking. I really love it. There's another shade that I wanted to get. It is a little lighter. It's the one that comes before Chocolate Geode. I think Chocolate Geode is the darkest, but um, I like it. It's subtle, but it's buildable. I mean, you can build it to a blinded look, and you guys know that I just do a subtle highlight. I have it on, and you cannot even see it, but I really love it. It is very pretty. It is very gorgeous on melanin skin so um if you're like my shade or deeper you need to go for this highlighter it is very pretty and then i put together some uh pencils that i got which i just wanted to mention uh they do different functions they're, just, they're all for the face but they do different functions for my brow my go-to brow pencil is the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. I am in the shade Rich Brown 705. Guys, this pencil is so good. First of all, it is soft 
to touch when it touches your brows but it is firm enough that it does not break when you're uh, sculpting your brow and it is so precise you cannot go wrong with this if you are a beginner you need this um, eyebrow pencil and then I was playing with a few things a few pencils I actually got these from Essence um, at Ulta they actually retail for they are definitely less than four dollars or even three dollars um, I got these pencils and um, this is the soft contouring pencil and the long-lasting eye pencil now the long-lasting eye pencil I just noticed because today when I was doing my makeup I realized that I had run out of my uh, covergirl eye pencil so believe it or not I use this pencil to do my brows today yes this is in the shade hot chocolate um, it was really I was re just using it for my waterline because sometimes I do not want like a harsh black um, waterline look so I just use this uh, dark brown but I used it on my brows today and it is so good so this and the cover girl and actually this is actually less expensive than the cover girl this is also very good but this is not as precise and sharp as the cover girl so it might be a little bit difficult for beginners so you guys this is an alternative for all the high-end eye pencils the uh, brow pencils that you got and for my lips I actually use this um, essence contouring pencils but um, I used to use it just to uh, line out my lips for a lipstick but now I'm actually using both as lipstick and then for the last product is my setting spray and got the morphe continuous setting spray mist setting mist this retails for $15 just try it it's $15 when you spray it you can hardly feel that you're spraying you don't get a big gush of you don't get that feeling of a big gush of water being um thrown on your face but then it sets your makeup that's what i have on today it sets your makeup and it does last all day so if you guys want a more affordable setting spray that actually works i think you should use this morphe setting mist all right guys so finally we have gone through all the products that i love i realized that most of these products are quite expensive but unfortunately that is what i love if you guys want to see me um do a video on any of these products please leave a comment below and i will surely do that thank you guys so much have a wonderful rest of your day enjoy your christmas enjoy your new year have a blessed day and i will see you in